Yo, are you that Filipino who doesn't know how to speak Tagalog but instead tries to memorize Lemonade by Jeremy Passion, knowing only two Filipino words either Kamusta or Putangina? Oh! <sighs> Looks mine na sa camera. What's up, homies? You probably clicked on this video because you're Filipino or you're into SB19. So, hey, what's good? If you're new, hi, I'm Ethan, your local guapong kuya homie. I literally just vibe here on YouTube. So, if you're into that and want to become a homie, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. If you don't know, nakakapagsalita and nakakaintindi po ako ng Tagalog. But so many people have asked me, family and friends, Ethan, how did you learn how to speak Tagalog? Oh. And the short answer is, I just ate a lot of adobo, you, like you guys. But what many people don't know is that I did not know how to start speaking Tagalog until only a couple years ago. Now, I'm not perfect in Tagalog whatsoever. I'm still learning. I still mess up. But now that I'm more confident than ever in my Tagalog skills, today I'll be giving you some tips and tricks on how you can learn Tagalog easy and fast. Before we start, I just want to give a huge shout out to Lavelle. She's one of my Filipino internet friends. And out of all of my Filipino friends, she's the only one who knows how to speak Tagalog. No shade to any of my homies. Planning this video for a couple months now, she actually gave me her tips and her experiences and how she learned how to speak Tagalog. So make sure you guys follow her. She's awesome. Marami salamat ulit, bro. By the way, if I keep looking down, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm not, you know, on Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, you should definitely follow my Instagram. I'm almost to, I think, 350K. You're fucking lying. No, I'm just playing. I'm almost to 350 followers. So, I mean, you should definitely <laughs> follow that. Let me begin with first telling you guys my backstory with Tagalog because Homeboy and I really did not have it together. We had a lot of beef together for, for some time. Like many of my Filipino American friends, both of my parents had came to the United States from the Philippines. And since then, I've grown up here uh, almost all my life. I probably only went to the Philippines at least less than five times. Throughout my childhood, I grew up with my paternal grandfather and my maternal grandmother. And so Tagalog was basically the primary language of our household besides English. I mean, bro, you'd hear it everywhere. Deadass, we can be at the store and homegirl grandma can finesse the telecom saying, Apo, nasaan ka na? Punta ka sa may kandila na may santo ninyo. However, the real tea is, even though I heard Tagalog being spoken to me 24 horas every single day, I didn't necessarily expect myself to learn Tagalog. If you didn't see my q and I mentioned how I always loved learning languages ever since I was a kid, but when it came to Tagalog, I always sort of felt intimidated by it. I thought that I already knew enough to speak and understand it, when really, it's always them relatives that catch me slipping. I knew the basics, the alphabet, greetings. One time, I looked up how to speak Tagalog on YouTube, and I found the Filipino Pod 101 episode, and that's when I learned, Ginagagala po makilala ka. No one says that in the Philippines. Like, however, a couple years later, I had a breakthrough. In 2014, my family and I went to Canada to visit our family up there. Shout out to mga pinsa, tio, tia. One day, I stayed home with my tita and my cousins, and we were watching this teleserie, telenovela. I think it was called The Legal Wife. I remember shit was going down, oh, weave wow. was being pulled. And my auntie goes, do you understand what's going on? And 10-year-old me, I really wanted to impress my cousins at the time. So I was like, opo. Then homegirl starts talking to me in Tagalog. And so I'm sitting there, barbecue sauce in my Every time she asks me a question, I'm always like, oppo. And then she asked me one last question. Of course, I didn't understand some of it. And so obviously I said, oppo. And then she looks at me like. And I'm just like. What the hell we gonna do now? All jokes aside, 10 year old Ethan saw how his cousins took Tagalog pretty seriously and they knew how to speak it. And at the time, I was like, dang, that's so badass. And so that's when I started to take Tagalog more seriously. Which brings me to my next crucial point. Why do you want to learn Tagalog? The foundation of being able to learn a language and mastering it at a quick rate, in my opinion, is determination. Lavelle says to take courage when learning. If not, when you face challenges, you'll just want to give up learning, speaking from personal experience. So before learning, find a reason and stick with it. Bro, sis, if you need a reason, I got you. I realized how knowing Tagalog gives you hella clout, bro. It always happens at the family reunions. You can play basketball, you can have a Chanel purse, but once you pull up to the function with the Ay, mano po, kamusta na po kayo? Balitaan po naman sa akin ng mga magulang ko na malapit na po atang birthday nyo. 
it's over for you and your cousins. You are now the favorite. If you're a Filipino like me, I'm sure you have some family in the Philippines. One time I went to the Philippines as a kid. I was not fluent in Tagalog yet, but I noticed how everyone, my relatives, recognized me as the kid from America. And so they assumed that I didn't know how to speak Tagalog. Thus, naturally, they sort of distanced themselves from me. Which looking back, I totally understand. Like if I were in their position, say I didn't know how to speak English, I would have went with the people that I'm more comfortable talking to. But over time when I learned, I realized how much I was able to connect with my my family and my friends in the Philippines, not only with my family, but with my culture as well. I feel like as Filipinos, we should be proud of our language and own it because it's a part of our identity. It's sad because I've heard from many people personally that their parents didn't teach them Tagalog because they were scared that they would be misunderstood and bullied for it. Considering how even in the US, people are doing efforts to try to prevent us from talking our language publicly. And so speaking Tagalog is more than just a talent or a skill, it's badass. So if I were you, you should start learning Tagalog Para sa economia. Anyways, all right, enough talking. Here are the tips and tricks on how you can start your Tagalog journey right now. Number one, the sooner you start, the better. The first two lessons are directly from Lavelle. Something to add is don't think it's too late. Don't be discouraged if you're starting at 18 or you've been living in a predominantly English speaking country your whole life. What's awesome is that you're starting now. So if you're thinking about do it, do it. Go in more. Para sa economia, for the for the economy. Number two, don't be afraid. Takot ka sa Tagalog because if you manage to learn a TikTok dance or the mechanics of COD, yes, I know that my gamers are watching this, then you can learn Tagalog. I have to admit, Tagalog is really complex, but in the end, it'll all be worth it. I get it. Being in a situation where you're just surrounded by people who can speak Tagalog and you're the only one who doesn't understand and you don't know what to do. I've been there before, bro. Don't be afraid if your accent is too whitewashed because that's gonna F you up and we don't want that. You can do it. Number three, expose yourself. Kung ngayon ka lang nagsisimula magara ng Tagalog, expose yourself only to Tagalog. If you grew up in the States like me or any other predominantly English speaking country, you probably know English. But like, have you ever thought, <laughs> why though? Homie, that's because you've been exposed to English all throughout your life in all aspects. You attend school and y'all speak English. Songs that you listen to from SZA and Frank Ocean are in English. You probably watch Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, gosh, Cartoon Network, and most was in English. That's why I feel like when learning a language, you need to expose yourself to that language to the max. If that means switching up all of your media and taking to Tagalog, I bet, like, let's do it. No shade to my homie if he's watching this, but for a while, I was really into Filipino music. I mean, I still am, but one of my Filipino friends told me, dang, Filipino music sucks. Have you listened to it, bro? If you watch Netflix, watch only Filipino shows, they all have English subtitles. Especially, especially, if you don't do this, this will ruin your process of learning Tagalog. One of the keys of learning Tagalog is watching all of Iskandar's movies. Literally, hands down, they're so funny. If you don't, I mean, you miss it now. They are the funniest, and they all have English subtitles too. But if you prefer YouTube like me, there are a plethora of spicy Filipino YouTubers that speak both Tagalog and Taglish. This is gonna be a long list, but some of my favorites include Ranskyle, Vincentiments, Nisa Nuggets, Mark Reyes, Pamela Swing, Mimi Yu, yeah, uh, yeah. Mika Salamanca, Mikaela An, Lloyd Cafe Cadena, BNT, Inigo Pascual, D. Kosh, Doni Pangilinan, Not Angel, and much much more. Take this one step at a time. Like I said, Tagalog is hella complex. For example, you might have heard of the verb kumain, which means to eat, but there's actually a whole family of verbs related to kumain, like mahain, makakain, kainan, papakain, at makain. How you feeling? Let's just not stress on that. Take it step by step. First, try to learn something that you're really interested in. For example, Filipino memes and slang and even curse words like and etc. You guys know. Then find something that will help you learn those quickly. And start off with the nouns as well. If your way of learning is by sticking sticky notes everywhere, then I bet. One trick for me is to start talking in Taglish. Start incorporating Tagalog words into your own English sentences. For example, you should go follow my Instagram at Gonzalez on your telepono. There are so many outlets that can introduce you to new vocabulary. First, like I said, the media that you take, having subtitles on when watching Filipino stuff really helps a lot, especially for me at the time. If you're really determined in learning, I highly suggest in investing in a Filipino dictionary. Once you're comfortable, move on to pronouns like ako, ikaw, siya, kayo, kamisila, kayo. And afterward, maybe move on to the really important 
conjunctions, articles, and grammar stuff. Like at, ang, ni, nang, pero, si, o, mga. And just keep building it up. It doesn't have to be in that order. That was just how I learned it. I also want to mention that one of my struggles in Tagalog was the grammar for the longest time, even until now. Like the different tenses and prefixes and suffixes. The two channels on YouTube that really helped me a lot with my grammar that you should definitely check out are Talk To Me, Tagalog, and The Pinoy Grammar. In my opinion, they do a really good job on breaking down different topics like prefixes and suffixes and explaining it really well. Next tip, talk to your people. Communicate with your folks, your relatives, and your mo kung hindi. You know, okay lang, mga kaibigan mo na pwede magsalita ng Tagalog. Basta ilagay mo ang sarili mo sa isang lugar o sitwasyon kung saan kami makakausap sa Tagalog. Dahil napakahalagang mag-practice. Honestly, if your parents know how to speak Tagalog, just tell them to not speak to you in English for like 30 days. Puro Tagalog, kahit Ilocano, Bisaya, Chabacano. And that's what I did. And for a while, my mom was like, she she was really pissed at me. <laughs> she was a bit annoyed when I like couldn't understand what she was saying. Wee, 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 wee! Chinese. Wee, wee! But you know what? I'm kind of proud that we did it because it really helped me in the long run. When learning a language, there will come a time where you're talking to someone in the language that you're learning and you have no idea what to say. Literally, mine just left the group chat. And I feel like by throwing yourself out there and being open to making mistakes but willing to fix them, you will learn a lot. And people will notice more on how you want to improve rather than your whitewashed accent. Don't be shy to talk to your relatives back in the Philippines or just carry small talk with whatever vocabulary you know with your Lolo and Lola. Literally, I miss talking talking to my grandparents so much. Like, it really do be hidden different when you talk to them in Tagalog. I said this to my friends wanting to learn Tagalog, but if you literally need someone to talk to or to just practice with, literally hit me up. I'm down to practicing with you. This is also important, but by communicating with others, this will really help your pronunciation. If you're studying Spanish as your foreign language at school, at least for me, I notice how the pronunciation between Spanish and Tagalog are really similar. Especially, for example, like with the vowels, A, E, E, O, U. In Tagalog, we tend to roll our R's a lot. America also, NG is a thing in Tagalog, like NG in thing, like na ngayon mipin. Now, if you still have worries of having a foreigner accent when speaking Tagalog, I used to have one, and I feel like by constantly exposing myself to Tagalog media and communicating with all these people, I kind of lost it over time. So it's all good. Just just keep on talking. The next tip is to read. Kind of like exposing yourself to Filipino media. Read everything that you see in Tagalog. My grandma was really not playing with me when she told me, I will teach you how to speak Tagalog. By the fifth grade, mind you, I live in the States. I memorized Lupang Hinirang or the Filipino National Anthem. Bayang magiliw, perlasang silangan. My grandpa gave me this book on the Pambansang Bayani ng Pilipinas. And it was kind of sus of me not to read it. So I read it in front of him even though Nang sumiklab ang digmaan. Lolo, I have to go to use the bathroom, bro. My grandma would make me read the news headlines from like 24 horas in Tagalog. Or even Facebook posts talking about celebrity stuff. Nagkaanak na si Kylie Jenner. Nagkolab na si Megan Di Estalion at The Baby. Like I said, if you're really determined and are into reading, I'd say invest in like a small novel if you're able to go to a Filipino bookstore. I bought this at National Bookstore. I'm not done reading it yet, but so far it is so good. Like I highly recommend this book. Or just the little things like watching the Filipino news more often. Last but not least, it's okay that your Tagalog is bad. When I was in the fifth grade, that's when I really started to learn how to speak Tagalog. One day I came home. This is another story with my homegirl Lola. Rest in peace. She was hanging out with her besties, her kumares. Like, I just remember coming home from school and it smelled like dinola and nail polish. Like, I'm not capping, bro. They had their face mask on and they were watching, like, Eat Bulaga or I think the Rise of May show or something like that. And later that day, I had to run to the store to buy some school supplies for whatever. And I wanted to impress one of her best friends. And I said, uh, hello po. I Ibebeta ko po ang mga school supplies ko ngayon Instead of bibilhin ko, which means I will buy One of her friends, I'm not joking, she looked at me like It's okay to make mistakes, it's okay to have an Americanized accent It's okay to not know a lot of Tagalog What matters is that you keep on going, you don't stop Because it'll be worth it in the end What's up homies, as you can see, my camera died If you made it up to here, thank you so much homie I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful Everything, YouTubers, websites, links will all be in the description box below Be sure to also share this video with someone who may need it Even if you're not Filipino and you're thinking about learning Tagalog I say go ahead and do it, Tagalog is such a beautiful language And yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below as well Make sure to also follow my other social media accounts at Gonzalez. And until next time, peace!